What up everyone? Addicted to Life is here and I'm gonna have a few words with you. So, something I've learned in the last 35 days. First off, today was weighing day and guess what I weighed in at? 25 pounds down, it was 7, seven pounds 4 ounces down from last week. Came out to 228.8 down from 236 and some odd change. So 25 pounds in 35 days, ha, if I can do it, you can do it. Stuff I've learned, this is why you should do this. Number one, I gave up sugar, I gave up bread. Which, to most men and most women, or some women and most men, or some men and most women, is beer. You have to give up beer. I know it sucks, but you gotta do it. And I gave it up, and mind you, I was a big Guinness fan. But you gotta do it, you gotta believe in yourself, you can do it. So, um, the other cool thing, what, are, what is it gonna do, for, what's it gonna impact your life by giving up sugar, giving up bread? What's it gonna impact your life by? Oh, and make sure you're actually getting, you can actually get your sleep in. Now, it impacts my life by, before I started this diet or this new lifestyle choice, before I started, I was getting migraines every single day. And if you know what a migraine is, if you've ever had one, you wish that you never had one. Well, guess what? In the last 35 days, I've only had three major migraines. So, it's definitely a great benefit to me. And what's it going to do for you? It's going to be the greatest thing you've ever did for your life. And uh, it's not a sales pitch. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I am trying to sell you the positivity. Um, you know, doing this has made me a non-negative person anymore. I'm not sad at work. I'm not depressed all the time. I mean, I am literally positive all the time. Someone asked me today, I went to my chiropractor appointment, talked to my coach, his wife was there, and she's like, how you doing? And I said, fantastic. Not kidding. I asked her how she was doing. She said, thanks for asking. She's doing good too. So it's going to put you in a positive mood. That's like number one, number or number one's it's the greatest thing you'll ever do for your life. I promise you. Number two, it's going to keep you positive. Number three, giving up all that sugar, not having sugar in your body, giving up all that bread, giving up that alcohol. It sucks because I used to drink wine all the time. I was a wine connoisseur. I still have like 13 to 15 bottles of wine in my house right now. Um, but maybe somewhere down the road, I'll slip in a glass. And I haven't gotten to that point. I don't want to take a break yet, so... Um, it's been a quite the ride. So let's see, one, one was the greatest thing you'll ever do. Two was you'll have positive all the time. You'll just be positive nonstop. Three, you're going to have a ton of energy. I'm not even kidding you. You're going to have the most energy. You're going to be able to get your work done on time. That's just me, I guess. Um, but you have a lot of energy. Like I'm walking on a treadmill today. I just tilt my head back while I was walking, hang on to the front bar. Just shut my eyes and just kept on walking. It just was awesome. I mean, of course, it felt like I was in the shower just sweating, pouring sweat. But it was an awesome feeling. Like, 26 minutes is when I walked. I still had a lot of energy left. So what did I do? Instead of just walking, I went and jumped on that chest press and just burned until I couldn't push any more uh, on the chest press today. Tomorrow I'll be doing legs. Unfortunately, the legs I was going to do with the leg press, there was another uh, gentleman using it. So... I'll just do it tomorrow. But you're gonna have a load of energy. When I got done, I was like, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna relax. Get on my games tonight, I'm gonna do this vlog, tell you guys about that. So one, greatest thing you'll ever do. Two, positivity. Three, you'll have the most energy ever. Four, what's it gonna do? It recovered me from having, there's a bug in here, sorry. It recovered me from having insomnia. And I had it. And I could never sleep. I was literally tossing and turning like every hour, every two hours. Probably didn't help that I had migraines all the time. But now, guess what? I'm sleeping like seven hours to eight hours a day. It's a great feeling. It's going to be the best thing you've ever done for yourself. Like I said, I'm not trying to sell you anything. This isn't a sales pitch. But seriously or technically, I'm trying to sell you the positivity. I can do this. You can do this. It's going to be literally the greatest thing you've ever done. I'm not going to lie to you. But here's the first thing you have to do before working out, before getting a gym membership like I do. Here's the first thing you have to do. You have to start eating right. You know, and like I said, I've been craving pizza like crazy. Finally got my cauliflower crust in. I uh, didn't add any seasoning. I just put some sauce on. Finally found some non-sugar sauce. 
um, like spaghetti sauce. I used that, stirred that in. I did use some mozzarella last night, but approved by my coach, I was allowed to have a little bit of cheese. And then I cooked up some bacon and put that on top. So it was a bacon pizza with uh, the cauliflower crust. It was just, it was good, I tell you. It was probably not the best pizza I ever had, but it was pizza and I was happy. I used to eat pizza every single weekend. Like I said in a previous video, I used to order so much pizza and breadsticks, like on a Friday night, you would have thought a family of ten were eating it. Not ten, maybe five. And what did I do? I just snack on it all weekend. You know, it's alright to have a pizza every once in a while, but not three days a week, you know. Um, it's okay to eat chocolate, but not all the time. It's okay to eat ice cream, but not all the time. You have to get yourself on an eating nutrition uh, realization before you actually start working out. You need to get rid of all that junk. All that junk is killing your body. You just got to get yourself on a healthier diet and you'll be set. And like I always say, this, this diet for me, which is not even a patented, a patented, patented thing, I can't say it, but you know what I'm saying. It's not a real thing out there. It's not something you can look up. My coach has actually made a hybrid diet for me. And like I'm saying, it's not a diet in my mind. It is literally a new life's choice. It's a lifestyle. Like my vlog, the title of my vlog is Better Life Choices. That's exactly what it is. It's 100% not a diet in my mind. It is a choice on my own. Now, what what point do you get to yourself in your mind that you're like, I just want to change myself? Well, like I said, I have migraine problems. I have esophagus problems. I had insomnia problems. Guess what? I'm not, my esophagus is no longer closing up. I can feel it. I'm actually being able to eat anything I want within reason. Like I said, I don't have any sugar, no breads, um, no alcohol. A lot of people are like, oh man, I can't go off that wine. I tell you what, if you want to better your life, you will do it. So, um, and I can remember, I was, I don't think I've ever said this, is when I, when I first went and started seeing my chiropractor, he said, what's your ultimate goal? And I said, I want to be fit. I want to be, and this is before I ever thought about being, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger fit. That was before that, which is, I want to lose my weight. I'm, I'm sick of being big. I don't, I just want to be skinnier. He's like, all right, I want you to start this, uh, I want you to work on this, look it up, start this diet. It's called the Whole Foods 30. I'm not going to lie to you. Took that information home. It sat on my table. I was like, screw that. I'm not doing it. Blah, blah, blah. A month went by. Came up to me. He said, all right, it's been a month. You know, I could see you weren't very motivated about that diet. What do you need me to do? And I said, I said, don't worry about it, man. You, you don't need to help me. I said, I'll figure it out on my own. He said, no, what do you need from me? I said, there was a swear word in there, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say it on this video. But I, anyways, I said I need a coach, and uh, he said done. What else do you need? And I said, you know what, man, I, I don't want to put any more burden on your shoulders. A coach is enough. I just need someone to support me. He said, no. What do you need? And I said, I need someone to motivate me. I need, or besides the coach, I need a workout plan. I need a nutrition plan for me. I want to better my life, but I can't afford to pay any more than I'm already paying you to be my chiropractor. You know what he said? Boom. Come in next week. I'll have a plan for you. No joke. What I didn't know was, is he actually had already made up a plan and sent it to me in my email. Well, I wasn't looking for one, so I went in the next week. He said, how are you doing? I said, what are you talking about? He goes, oh, I should have known. You weren't even texting me any questions about the diet I sent you. So there it was. I started finally that Wednesday. Guess what? It's 35 days later. And like I said at the beginning of this video, 35 days later, and I've lost over 25 pounds. My goal was 30 pounds in 30 days. Was it realistic? Probably not. Could I have worked harder? No. I honestly think I've been working my butt off every single day um, to the point where uh, yesterday I actually hurt my knee again. And that's that's unrelated to me walking. That's actually something that at my job before the one I have now, same company, different job, I actually fell through machinery and busted my knee. And at the time, I didn't think it was anything because I was always a trooper and was like, ah, it's just a bruise. Well, it's... I think it's a lot more than that, but that's just another story down the road. He he fixes my knee every time I go on the chiropractor. It's no big deal. But anyways, find yourself a great mentor. That's probably number one. I keep saying other ones, but this that's 
seriously number one you need to find yourself a coach someone that's going to support you no matter what even if it's your mom your best friend it doesn't matter it could be a total stranger my coach was a total stranger before i met him and guess what now he's he's pretty close to a best friend so get yourself a mentor that's my coach that's number one number two you need to get yourself a nutrition plan i don't care what you do um if you want to know what i'm doing uh, I think I'll open up the message board and uh, or get to me on Facebook. I think I can message you through there. Same YouTube. It's addicted to number two and then life, L-Y-F-E instead of I-F-E. Um, if you can't, I will open up messages on YouTube. If you want to do what I'm doing and want to know what I'm doing, I can send you everything I've been doing for the last 35 days. Um, nutrition, walking, and all that. So if you if you want if you're interested in that message me uh, through YouTube or Facebook I think you can message me on there uh, personal message or something and then uh, I'll help you and tell you what I've been doing so one is mentor coach whatever get someone to help you two get a nutrition plan three you got to make sure you get yourself on some kind of workout plan something even if it's only literally walking when i first started i was walking a mile and a half a day and that was it that's all i did i think for t at least two weeks so and, and that's it and a mile and a half mind you if you're not sure even what that is if you don't if you don't have a everybody's got a phone nowadays even if you don't have one if you don't know what that is get to a local high school track a middle school track college track a mile and a half is six laps around that play, uh, thing so you know, if you're not sure how to clock that, go to the, go to the track. Go. To, that was my first option when I first started. Didn't want to do it. The local gym is literally right down the street from my apartment complex. So, on that note, I'm going to let you go. I see this vlog is over 12 minutes now. But I wanted to do something long to tell you guys about what I've been doing for the last 35 days. I know you've seen my daily vlogs, but it's pretty much just been working out and telling you to stay positive and stuff. But I really want to give you the ultimate of what I've been doing. So there you have it. Y'all have a great, wonderful rest of your day, night, morning, or evening. Like I keep saying, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you benefited from it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. I mean it. Seriously, have a good one. Start being positive. Love you guys. See ya.